So this nigga got a C over the line, running for his life, getting sacked, and he still leads the league in deep balls. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, that nigga's gonna be. You gotta put them balls deep, man. You got to. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy Larry Love, and welcome back to another edition of the most fearless podcast, man. We're on season two part. I don't really give a damn. Uh, who on the couch, man? It's your boy Chief Knee, man. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Cartier J. It's your boy Curly J. We're gonna start doing that <laughs> shit. Yo, I, I thought that. it was Cartier Frame J. That nigga changed. It was shit. Cartier J. I think this one was Cartier Frame. Wait, you know, you know, my boy Cliff, he's like, why don't you say Cardi J? Like, no, Cartier J. So it rhymes. Instead of Cartier. Why don't I like cart? Because like pins, cart, you fucking pothead. He said Cartier. He said Cartier. Cartier, Cartier. Why am I got Okay, no, I'm about to start roasting motherfuckers now. I'm just asking. I'm about to start roasting motherfuckers. Let's get into the agenda. And they got the velvet track suit on. <laughs> I know, y'all going on the PJs. Like, I guess I ain't get the You ain't no PJs. Nigga, just like an A&R from Wu-Tang Records, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, uh, we want to kick this off, man, with a very, on a very serious note, man. I'm praying to all the victims and yeah. who's ever caught in the crossfire, uh, caught in the crossfire of the whole Russia and Ukraine situation. We praying for all parties, man. No okay. cap. It's just an unfair situation. We don't want nobody to go through that. For a song. Yeah. Speaking of which, when our own Brittany Griner, she's caught in that. When y'all heard that, man, what y'all think about that? So first, let's explain this out, man. So Brittany Griner, she's a form. You know, she was a WNBA player. I'm not sure if she's still in that WNBA. No, she's but, in Russia. Yeah, she. so she plays in the uh, Russia. But why is she there? <laughs> I know she plays in the Russia uh, they Professional they League. And basically, she was stopped at the airport and she was detained for... Uh, carrying vape cart- cartridges, and she might be facing five to ten years. God What's some vape? damn! Yes. What's some Nick? Fuck that! Yeah, I need to person. know the rules in Russia about Fuck like vape that, and stuff dude. like that. Like, are they serious about like smoking and stuff like that there? I don't know. Like, that's crazy. Five to ten years, Ukraine. I they- would think like with all this. Wait, she was caught in Ukraine. And she's caught in Russia. Russia. Oh, she's caught in Russia. Okay, okay. With all this shit, why are you still there? No, with Not all this that. shit, why are y'all worried about a damn fate? The, Not even that. Why? They make an example out of it. I love this. I love. I hate to say this, but it's like when you go into these different countries, you can't be bringing stuff like that into yeah. these different countries. That's what I was going to say. Especially Russia. Like, oh, that's how uh, little Baby got Bro, bro she's she yeah. been playing there for too long not to know the customs. But then now it's also different because they're caught up in the middle of war, so they're going to make examples out of America. Yeah, like, they, yeah. That nigga Putin? Hey, that, oh. fuck that nigga Putin. That nigga. And I saw, I saw this Putin. thing on T- <laughs> uh on one of the sports, no, not sports, fuck. It was one of these news outlets, and they were saying, like, there's two other Americans that are also being held in Russia, and they was like, you know how the uh, the U.S., we kind of, like, use certain enterprises to withdraw right. from Russia mm-hmm. so we can put pressure on them? They're like, okay, Putin going out, hold Brittany, uh, Brittany Griner and other Americans there as that kind of uh, response in the waves. So now it's like, damn, she kind of stuck in the middle just because also this this beef between the countries. Because she's from, yeah, she's yeah. from here. Yeah. No, it's sad, but just like what you said, I hate to say they are probably going to make an example out of her. And also them two other people. If I'm Brittany, um, oh, shit. No, like, you're right. Like, I had just seen that they posted her mugshot the other day. This is, like, the first time they've seen her in days and all this other stuff. Like, what was that mugshot taken? Like, when she first... Got a diet like and you know how scary that shit is. Yeah. I think she first got detained in February. We learned about it in February. Yeah, I think. think about maybe like a week ago in March. So that's like, damn. Yes. Nigga, damn. If I'm her, bro, nigga, I'm just gonna have to be a free agent for like a good month, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if they're in the middle of a war, nigga, nigga, I'm a free agent for Man, now. Fuck that shit. I'm a free agent, nigga. Because what if you get yeah. caught by just a missile, just like, or you walk over a landmine? Now you ain't got no foot. So fuck like a jump shot, you just jumping around, nigga. <laughs> but just like what you said too, Nefe, it's it's one of them things where I question. Uber. Uber. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we praying for those in Russia. But anyway, <laughs> no for real though. But what I'm thinking in my head is she had a lot of freaking cartridges. Like I seen um y'all were here last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, 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 no. <laughs> Didn't care about that, that was vape. That ain't weed. All that weed. He, he know that all that wasted weed, nigga. <laughs> no, that's like what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is like, okay, just like what you said. She was, she's been in Russia before. She's competing in Russia, stuff like that. You would think she would know the customs of Russia, 
why would you bring that much cartridges knowing the way how the statuses of the world is right now and because you know the laws there too it's one of them things where it's like you should know better now do i think it's kind of excessive how they're doing it or whatever of course i think it's ridiculous of course. Yeah. you know I me mean? but yeah that's just how i feel about it mm-hmm. no i definitely feel you and we got to stop joking about this shit it's a very serious, it's very serious incident because yeah. We don't know, motherfucker. We could go to World War Three at any day, any time. Like, motherfucker, a sergeant just sent me a text, like, a couple of days ago. Yeah, y'all be drafted. I ain't getting drafted. No, I'm not getting drafted. I'm going to tell this nigga I got, like, cancer in one of my testicles. It, it can't, I can't move. Oh, my dog kept before you put him My down. leg bionic. I ain't getting drafted. I, I, oh, they going to kick the shit out of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you, nigga. but like, All these females making the jokes about... Oh, my nigga got dreads. He ready for war. Man, y'all oh, got to stop nigga. I just started these shits, bro. I see so, many, so much shit. All the racetrack niggas. They need to draft them niggas. Oh, no, them ROTC kids. It's your time to shine. It's your time <laughs> to shine. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yes. Y'all doing all this flipping shit with the guns. Nigga, yes. shoot them. It's your time. <laughs> them niggas is in the hallway. Hut one, hut two. Like, all oh, the God. lines and shit. About face. Yes. Nah, y'all shit. Though. I mean, I understand why she was playing in Russia because also, like, she was making, like, almost damn near, I want to say five or six times more. Nigga, than fuck that I, money. I'm, no, I'm I'm just saying, though, she was making way more, like, there than the WBA because, you know, I was about to say, yeah. my salary. So you understand, you understand why she was there. And I also saw um, that, that she quoted that. She said it's also, lo- like, she, she feels also lonelier in Russia. So also, imagine you being detained. And now you're you're way far from your family in a foreign country, and you don't know if you're getting out, my boy, because all this because all this country conflict. It's it's a very it's a very sad and tough situation. You know what I'm saying? And, and then too, her. like I know why she lonely. She plays WNBA in Phoenix, and you going to Russia. That's a big fucking drop off. You yeah, in Phoenix right. in the summertime, and Russia in the winter. Oof. Yeah, cold as hell. I, I don't know about that, too. buddy. I have to say it too. We all over here like, okay, she shouldn't go to Russia. She shouldn't go to Russia. But now the more and more I think about it, I'm like, it is a difference between pay with the WNBA. Why right, didn't you take a place? The, hell no. Exactly. <laughs> hell no. But also too, but ain't that but much just money like, in the world, yeah, it's bro. a big difference. Sure. Like you don't know her financial situation. She probably really need that damn money. And now, but I have done it. No. But also too, this brings up a bigger conversation that WNBA players should be paid more. So they wouldn't have to go overseas and do shit like this. Because I hate to say it, literally, some WNBA players get paid less than, uh, what was it called, than like my parents. Like, they not even get, some of them not even get six figure checks. Some of them only getting like five figure checks. Well, have you seen a WNBA game? Okay, okay, whoa. I actually have seen a WNBA game. Have you seen a WNBA game? I've seen plenty. I love a W. Uh, I love WNBA game. Do you think WNBA they should be paid game? more? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like they're more marketable than the men. A lot of the women in the WNBA are more marketable than the men. I'm going to get to in a second. The WNBA, it shows you all the fundamentals and how the games play. The NBA, I feel like, has gotten too flashy about shooting the three ball. Yes. There's not really a lot of fun. Like DeMar DeRozan and a couple other guys only shoot the mid-range. There's no really fundamentals. It's just guys being more athletic and better shooters. And really, athleticism is going out the way if you've seen that dunk and, contest. And before you continue with that, also, if you talk about the WNBA, like the price, like the pay rates and all that, I do agree that they do need to be paid more. We also gotta look at every con- like every little thing that contributes to their pay, as in like Attendance. there's 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 difference between is like like sports sports coverage, um viewers, t- uh, game tickets, yeah, like all that sh- all that shit factors in to, to the their pay. pay. Yeah, it does. And I do agree that dudes does need to be increased, but when it comes to like solutions for that, you have to go from the ground up. Yeah, cause you can't just. Pull money at your ass. You, yeah, you right. gotta. The money has to be. It's gotta be like a cycle. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, if people not going to, if you got two hundred people going to a game, then I can't afford to pay you a million dollars a year. It's one of the things where, like you say, it's a bigger conversation about like the solution of it, in my opinion, because it's like there is steps that could be done to get them more pay. In my opinion. Yeah, it is. Like just like what you said, coverage. If they have more coverage and stuff like that, if people cared as much about. NBA as they did about the WNBA. Come on. Yeah, I will say like the when you look when you open ESPN, you don't even really see a lot of WNBA no. highlights. Like no. it's no. rare that you see a WNBA highlight. I couldn't tell you when I and it's and it's like rare. a championship or like some crazy. Budget. Y'all can't yeah. even name the team in Atlanta. Atlanta Dream, don't do me. 
Okay, there we go. I haven't been to a WNBA game in my life. Neither am I. I have. I've only been to one NBA game in my I two have. NBA games. They were so lit. You should have seen the way I saw this one girl. She did like a three sixty layup. That shit was fire. <laughs> but I will be. I will say this though. Like one of my friends in high school, our senior year. Shout out to Ava. I went to a lot of her. I went to because uh, my brother he played JV and my my best Wait, friend. Wait, Ava Syracuse. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Hey, bro, what the fuck, bro? Wait, Syracuse? What is this about? <laughs> bro, nah, so my, my brother, he was on JV, uh, JV, and then, you know, it'd be the girls varsity, then it'd be the boys varsity with my boy, also, Cliff, he also played on. So I would also, always watch all three of those games, and I also, I enjoyed the girls a lot more sometimes than the varsity boys because, you know, Sometimes the varsity boys, they ain't, they ain't this, they, like some of them Damn, weren't as skilled. Damn, were they? <laughs> some of them weren't as skilled as some of these female players. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, like you're right. It is, it does come down to more of a fundamental basketball game. Yeah. I'll say this too, just like what you said. Um, the girl basketball team at my high school was better record than the guys at one point, but it's like the girls basketball game was always before the guys. It was like you would go there. But you oh, you know the there. girls. You know the girls. Yeah, the yeah. boys really paying attention. They were just sitting there waiting for it. But it was like they were a better rank. Like they had better ranking and all that stuff. I think they went to the championships and all that shit. Yeah. Y'all talking about uh, Ava Irvin, a 5'8 uh, guard sophomore <laughs> from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> All yeah. right, so the next topic. She got some nice titties. Got next, Josh. Yo, we gonna have hey, cars. man, I'm just saying, man. And listen, another revenue thing that we can. My homeboy and I, I made fifty dollars betting on a WNBA game. I bet that nobody would watch that shit. Larry really googled that girl. You no, know, he did. He, he really googled that. Too quick, bro. Yeah. Not but, quicker um, than this nigga. Nigga, I, shit, you call me Calvin Ridley with the bets. I know. Who? Talking about Calvin Ridley, boys. So, as we know, we're from Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Calvin Ridley was caught uh, and suspended for for a year mm-hmm. for the 2022 season because this motherfucker was gambling. At least a year. It could it, be longer. Like, it could be longer? It yeah, could be it could be longer. Like, longer. the year's yeah. the minimum. Yeah. So it could be longer I than that. Like he, they know, they know he's getting yeah. a year. They know he's getting a year, but he could get two, three. You know. oh, he could be banned for life because a lot of motherfuckers get banned for life. Yeah. Right? So how do y'all feel about this? Nigga said he bet fifteen hundred dollars. Why? You know what your contract is? Really, you're dumb as fuck. I'm gonna tell you because they yeah. said they flagged his IP address and his email. Who the fuck uses Calvin Ridley eleven at gmail.com? Exactly. Of course, of course they gonna know it's you, nigga. Oh, this is Calvin Ridley. We're just. Nigga, if I'm Calvin Ridley, listen, and I know, and I know he's not. It's like Michael Vick with dog fighting. You're not the only one doing that shit. You the only yes. motherfucker getting caught. God. But however, though, if I'm Calvin Ridley and this is fucking John Smith, mm-hmm. a nigga that works, my homeboy that worked at Amazon, whose email boy. do you think I'm a fucking exactly? Use? I'll slide you to fifteen hundred. Right. Cash, what's your zell, nigga? And then the nigga, come on, you bet on the Falcons. You like, come on, on now. Team. He bet on the Falcons to win and lost that guy. You gotta bet on your team. Man, nigga, fuck, no, nigga, you no, so, yeah. nigga. Let's be real. If you, you try to make money, nigga, you nigga, you can bet on Kyle Pitts having on the fantasy team, but like, who the hell, motherfucker, bet fifteen hundred? This like, and lost eleven mil. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm gonna play a little devil advocate because he was a dumbass in my opinion too. Just like what you said, it's dumb for you to do that. You know, it's in your contract, all this other stuff. But I heard Charlamagne the guy saying this earlier today, and I agree. Okay. NFL don't want their players to be betting on teams and games and all that stuff, but they're making it more acceptable for like us as to be betting and stuff like that. So it's like, why wouldn't you expect other people to do it Whoa. too? Because no, 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 let me let me let me, yeah, let me get you on that oh, one. Let me get you on that one. Oh, I'm a, yeah, you know. <laughs> get you, I, 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 you, everybody trying to get their licks on this one. Yeah, my boy. If you are on the NFL, are you are you are part of the NFL? If you are part of the roster. That is tampering. Yes. Not only, not only are you on your team and you can tamper your team, you can tamper with other teams because you also are connected with other 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 teams. Yeah, Am I right? Wrong? You your homeboy. Exactly. Hey, exactly. hey, yo, Neff. I got hey, this. Nigga, hey, nigga, just miss this tackle real quick. I'll split oh, you. This, this Millie. This Millie I'm about to get. This quick Millie. Like, come on. My jo- my boy Josh. You know what I'm saying? Go attack him, man. Get nah, you lead. go. I never. It's just we'll like. That. I have a rebuttal for that, but. Okay, well, it's, you guys stop saying words. I don't know what the fuck they mean either. Rebuttal? It's just like, I know what they mean. I'm just fucking with you. It's just like... I wasn't sure. It's just like... Why though? like... And then too, he was out for mental health reasons. So I'm like, this is not getting your mental health back right. You just <laughs> Yes, it is. Making money? And it, money nigga, right. you gamble 15 <laughs> I'm just... I'm just God, nigga, that ain't no money. 
They are so serious about this day. They acted like they done lost 1500. Bro, it's just like, bro, then too, like, I would never expect Calvin Ridley to do this shit. But at the same time, it's also like, Nigga, you got what you deserve. Why y'all acting like this is so like outlay? I feel like everybody's it, acting it, like this. I'm a, can I say why? Yeah, this is going to sound so bad. Yeah, a lot of these people who are in the NFL have came up from having nothing. Yeah, and they, all they, they they know is hustle. Now, do I think it's dumb to gambling? Have, like, is not hustling. Hope? Gambling on a football game? So what is, t- can, can you, I say something? Okay, go ahead. I will say if I have an eleven million dollar contract, I ain't doing it. I think it's dumb. Think it's, think it's completely done. What yeah. was his payout? His payout had to be huge it, for that. There's, there's no... 7K max, I think. What? 1500 Nigga, play dice. Do some shit. That's like, what, what the but, fuck? But that's, okay, that's what I was about to uh, equate it to. Let me look, let me look. If you playing dice or whatever, that's similar to me with gambling. Just like if you it having is. a bet with your friend, that's gambling. Gambling is what people do, and that's a bad thing. I'm not the biggest gambler, but that's is what that is what people. But do. when okay, you said hustling, so, you mean like hustling and selling drugs and trapping. So that's what I'm saying. Talking about. You know, if you're gonna gamble fifty one thousand five hundred dollars, right? Why not just be like, hey, Larry, yes. I bet fifteen hundred that the Falcons will win. Why do you have to go through a trading house that's online? For fifteen hundred dollars, that's what he was the, the dummy. If you're gonna bet fifteen hundred, yes. that partners with the NFL. Yes. If you're gonna bet fifteen hundred, I'll give you. I'll put that shit on the table. And that's why I'm not gonna argue mil. with. I'm worth well yeah. more than eleven mil. I won't I'll argue about 15. that at all. I ain't gonna argue that at all. That was a dumb move. Like if if I'm gonna be gambling, whatever, my name is gonna be attached to it. You're gonna be able to yeah. Nigga, me. use his email. You like, come on, but you literally said feds. I just gave y'all some shit. Come find me. I'm gonna be texting Josh like, hey Josh, yo email address. Like he put his own. I would at least. Put like yes. Josh Podcast Guy Eleven at like, Yahoo.com. I'm not gonna put my shit in there. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, I think it's and true. and I think that you said something key, Larry. Yeah, he's just the I one that got it. caught. That's what I feel like everybody's missing. Y'all acting like all these other people aren't doing it. He's and just he the one that got caught. But snitch. look, they yeah. are doing it. But I bet you they're not putting their and, own fucking email. Yes, and that's the thing. I bet he's you just a, he was just a dummy about it is what I'm exactly. saying. Yeah. And also too, I would say this. I do think a little bit the punishment is a little excessive. What? What punishment? His what, like the season or more? Do y'all no, think that dude, that's you honest? It's do a y'all rule. think that's a? He's not the only motherfucker that's been t- that, that's been suspended. Okay, this goes back long. to the Brian so, Flores thing a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's about integrity in sports, like Pete Rose. Who played baseball? I think for the Saint, no, for the Cincinnati Reds. He literally has the most hits in Major League history. They wouldn't even let him in the Hall of Fame because he bet on sport. Like he bet on his own team while he was playing, and also while he was a manager. This shit happened. I think the seventies or eighties. He's been banned ever since. I think the the Reds just retired his jersey a couple years ago in twenty nineteen. So like, like in sports, that is like the most like like if you found out LeBron was like the if, let's just say if a report like came out. Like you. Yeah, it's just it's just something that it's like one of those rules yeah. that. <laughs> It's like, I had a good, had a good ass point. He just <laughs> fucked it up. I was going to say, it's like, let's just say, you know how the Lakers been losing all these games? Let's just say if there was a report that LeBron's been throwing all these games betting, but he's been making like 50 million off all these games. That's the same thing. It's the integrity of the game. That's okay. what's important, not the money. So I got a question, Larry. Yeah. Let's say Tom Brady, before he retired, got caught doing some shit like this. You think he should be suspended for all these seasons and stuff like that? Yes. You, hold on. And do you think that the NFL would do that? If he didn't ret- I mean, no. if, he re- if he retired, that yeah. might do something to his Hall of Fame, though. But do you think yes. that they would have done the same no, ma- uh, consequence? Tom's the golden yeah. ball the that's a, It don't give a fuck, fuck bro. Yes, it does. He Are got suspended for deflate gate. You think he's not going to get suspended? F- nigga, air down some balls. You I'm think sorry, he not but gonna- deflate gate is a big deal to me, too. That's just... Kind of to me like so that's same. worse than gambling. I'm not saying it's worse, but it to me that's up there. That's fucking up the integrity of the game no, too. No, okay, hell yeah, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not messing up the integrity of the game. No, it is. Okay. That's messing up All the right. integrity of the game. Not on gambling it, level, though. Bro, hold on, hold on. All of it's the same thing because at the end of the day, it's a it's a rule. It's a book of rules. Yeah. If you violate it, you fucking violate it. It yes. doesn't matter. Oh, you did this worse or did that worse. I mean, of course, well, there's levels domestic abuse and all that shit. But like, come on, nigga. Like if you if you violate the book, it's all an equal offense. You're gonna get fined. You're gonna get suspended. My what? only mm-hmm. issue with that, and I'm I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, My yeah. only issue to that is if you're going to find or whatever, 
find everybody the way that they all should is what I'm just trying to make. They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. You said you're using your home. No, but I'm saying it's the ones that y'all y'all going. I'm saying if you're getting caught, I'm not talking about if you're not getting caught. Okay, let me say real quick. If you get caught. Caught, you need to be having the same situation like him is what I'm saying. I'm saying that I'd honestly, me personally, I don't think that they would have done the same thing to Tom Brady that they did with him. I yes. don't. What well, if he was I gambling? Don't. Yes, I It'd be do not. Worse with Tom Brady. I'm going to say it's worse with Tom Brady. That's it would be worse with Tom Brady. Tom Brady. They, will, they will find every excuse in their book to make sure that that man will at least be not suspended for the Okay, okay, let me separate this real quick. Or at least go. Wait, actually, no, you go. Race does play a part of it. That's yeah, that's what I was going to say. say. Race does play okay, a part let of me say this, though. Yeah. Are we talking about gambling on other games or gambling on your own personal games? I'm saying other games. I'm not talking about your own personal games. Okay, that's like if Tom Brady was betting on New England. Technically, it's still illegal. It's bro. still illegal. Yeah. You can't I thought you were talking friend. about now, now, if you betting on your own games, that's like, that's the worst shit. That's like Stephen Ross, the owner of the, um, the Miami Dolphins, trying to lose games. And yes, paying Brian bro. Flores, that now because no, Brian right. Flores got to come up with some receipts, and if he comes up with the receipts, that owner's probably gone for life. And the um mm-hmm. the the head the old head coach of the Browns, remember how Hugh he got, Jackson? Yeah, Hugh Jackson. He got he got the payout for losing games, bro. Yeah. Okay, so, he, he was, yeah. it lost like what two two really terrible seasons, and there was like what two and nigga went zero and sixteen. Zero and six, bro. I'd be fucking damn to be grinding in in that whole football offseason. We all talking about, oh, we going to put in our all, all this brotherhood crap, and my coach is throwing dance on purpose. But he said he didn't take the money, though. So I'm wondering, was his team really that bad and he was just offered to lose? I find that hard to believe. It wasn't that, it wasn't that, it was not that bad for them to be, for them to be that trash. Because in the NFL, nobody gets blown out every week. Like, in the NFL, the fucking, what's the worst team in the NFL? Now, the Jaguars are still... Could go pound for pound with the Green Bay Packers, and what the Packers will still win. <laughs> no, pound for pound is fucking crazy. Man. Nigga, not pound, but you know what I'm saying? It could be like a 20 to like 14 game. They okay. win, up, they'll I'll get, get bone out. Well, it's really 35. 35 to 14. Yeah. But yes, I agree with you. Like, nobody's getting blown out. I think on the way. The people are, the, not people, the, the people that are higher up are making this such a big of a deal because they say that, like, they don't want you gambling because. As an NFL player or coach, or if you're in the NFL circle, you know so much more yeah. than the people on the outside, right? Very mm-hmm. true. So you know, and like they said, that's why they came up with the whole thing about the injury report. That's why nowadays they say, hey, a week in advance, Matt Ryan's going to be injured this game. So that way, everybody knows. So that way, NFL players cannot go bet against different teams. Yeah. So they say... Um, like like I said, the people in the NFL circle they don't want you betting so that because you know so much, you may be in a group chat with Matt Ryan. You may be, you may call this nigga on Facetime or some shit. That's why they don't want you betting on that shit. And it's because you like just know, your 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 knowledge level is way. But do y'all hear y'all argument right now? Yeah. It's not really the issue of the betting, in my opinion. Because we know he was it's, for it. It's the issue of being. Dumb and getting caught of the betty. I don't well, that's think that's always it. Yes, that's really what the issue is right now. Like y'all, are, y'all are acting oh, like man, y'all are acting like if y'all were in the NFL and you really okay. Me personally, I probably would. Yeah, I wouldn't do. It. I probably personally wouldn't. But other people, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying that it's an outlandish idea. Like it's not an outlandish thing that somebody did that to me. It's, it's just that he's just a. I don't want to call him a yeah no, he's dummy. A dumb he's, a he's, he's a dummy not for he's a dumbass, but he no, does dumb you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Why would you really eleven? Like, there's so, many, well, other, well, there's so wait, many other. There's so many other ways. Did they say social security number? Like, what the fuck? Did they say he because I this girl? I know that I know that um he did say I don't have a gambling problem. Is this something that has happened before? No, because I feel like he said that in a way trying to say like. Oh yeah, I may have done it in the past, and this may be like one of my. Uh, he may have a gambling addiction no, or something he, like. He made this. He made. He made it to sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Like he said, I bet fifteen, uh, fifteen thousand. I mean, fifteen hundred. LOL. I only got a year. Like nigga, the joke is on you. You bet fifteen hundred. You lost eleven million. The no, odds man. are horrible. That them odds are fucking horrible. <laughs> like no for real. No, I mean, but you know what team did get some good odds though. That Russell Wilson trade, my boy. Yes. Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pete Carroll had to recover all those picks that he lost for uh, Jamal, Jamal Adams. Adams. Oh, my oh God. My they gave up so much for that nigga. 
just for him to tank. But um, how y'all feel about this um, Russell Wilson trade going to the Broncos? How y'all feel about the Broncos? DK Metcalf, he, he was needed. off my fantasy team. He had a terrible season too. When he, he like did. seven and ten, but that was because he they had Geno Smith a lot, of, and it didn't get no better with Drew Locke. And they yeah. might draft a quarterback, that young guy out of Liberty, uh, the black guy. They might draft him. So who do you? So first, who do y'all think you? Who do y'all think won this trade? A oh, Broncos. 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 Broncos love that for sure. Yeah, you smoking dick if you. Pete Carroll himself <laughs> will tell you Seattle lost yeah. this shit. Pete Carroll chew a gum right now. This <laughs> is <laughs> I should have I should have handed the ball off. Fuck! Why didn't I do it? <laughs> so, so with that, then, do y'all think the Broncos are contenders to win the AFC conference? Yeah. Yes, man. It's gonna, that that's gonna be a bro, battle, the Chiefs, bro. The Chiefs. You got the you just got in the that Chargers. division alone, and yeah. the Raiders with don't sleep on Derek Carr. Look at all them quarterbacks. Thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three. Yeah, that's young. 32. Oh, he's young. And he's a nine-time Pro Bowler. Bengals. Don't forget the Bengals. Come on now. Lamar Joe Jackson, boy, comeback Joe. season. Bro. That boy, Joe. Like Joe the, the NFC compared to the AFC is not... They don't have It's like the call. East and the Western Conference. Yeah, in the NBA. It's not the same. Like when LeBron was in the East. That shit was weak for. Now I, the East is a lot stronger. I want to say I have the Broncos as my favorite, but I could say... They they're not my favorite in But division. they're contenders now. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got, Judy? Jerry, got, Judy, Jerry, 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 Dog. That nigga has people to throw it to. Yeah. Dead ass. And they got um that cornerback. Sertain. Patrick Sertain. 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 You still got uh and then they got something else. They just so the Seahawks just release um Bobby Wagner. They just like they just released it. They still have Brandon Chubb, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, Brand, Bradley Chubb. I think Bradley, Bradley Chubb. Bradley yeah. Chubb for the Broncos. Uh-huh. Their right. offensive line is so much better than Seattle's. Yeah. And oh my god. They the Bills in that in that conference. I forgot. That is so crazy. And then too, um, what I was gonna say is they um the Seahawks just released Bobby Wagner and uh what was his name on the Rams? Uh Von Miller, he keeps teasing coming back. So you if you have those motherfuckers coming back, that's just really gonna make your defense like tough as fuck. And then too, they can well I don't think they have many draft, but you can go in the draft and you can get somebody. But right now, the Broncos are in win now more. It reminds me of the Peyton Manning uh situation when he came over. Bro, yeah. Y'all don't know how happy Russell was. This nigga, I think he led the league in like the amount of times that he gets sacked. That nigga gets sacked so, so much, yes. and that nigga be running for his life. <laughs> and he's not. I mean, he's not. I think he's like five ten. Maybe he's not six foot. He's uh, not six foot. Not he's tall. not six foot. So this nigga got a seat over the line, running for his life, getting sacked, and he still leads the league in deep balls. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, that nigga's gonna be. You gotta put them balls deep, man. You got to. <laughs> It's just, I, I, you know, the one thing I would say. <laughs> hey, hold on. And, and real quick to that before you say something. Nasty. Bruh, Bobby Wagner being released. Yo, what if they got Bobby Wagner? They still got. They, still they can got, get Bobby Wagner involved. They got like 24, 27 yeah, million 24. in cap space. They Come on now. They still can. Yes. That get another good. offensive lineman. Bro, sure. they need some dogs. Get, they need that or a pass rush. Get you like a plug in receiver, somebody. Or they just released Noah Fant. They probably could draft a tight end too. Noah Fant was really good, but he was like a middle of the pack, tier two, fringe, top 10 uh, tight their, end. Who is their tight end? It was Noah Fant, but they took it. He was in the Seahawks, so they probably going to draft another one. I don't know who the backup yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, if you replace that guy, you talking about something. But really, I think Deshaun Jackson might be a free agent. He's somebody good on deep balls. He can give you a good Deshaun Jackson. He's been trying right to now. get away from them for a minute, hey. But this, what has he been trying to get away from? Uh, well, I don't even want to talk about him. Never mind. I'm sorry. Get away from who? Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Watson, you talking about the quarterback with all oh, the Oh, yeah, the yeah, sexual yeah, assault. Yeah, we're talking about I, I, I knew you were talking about Deshaun. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, Deshaun Jackson still is probably a top five deep threat, maybe top. I say really the person who's a better deep threat than him all the time probably is Randy Moss. But I mean, he's still kind of inconsistent, though. But he can, but bro, in one season he could give you a couple 60, 70 yard touchdown plays. No, I agree, I agree. But like, and that's really all you need. Return the punts, nigga. Yeah, yeah, like take the top off, like yeah. yeah. You could use him as a, you could use him as, as a number three for sure. Yeah, a good number gadget guy. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. He, but, but he's not a number one. You got Judy and then. Sutton for that. Yeah, yeah. He's a good cushion guy. Yeah. The Seahawks, though. I don't know. They're in full rebuild mode, though. Hell yeah. That's for a fact. But you've got a big body, big time receiver in DK Metcalf, a guy that can take the top off, very good in route running, physically strong. And you've got Tyler Lockett, Tyler who is one of the best huge, safety bro. blankets. DK? Bro. 
Have y'all seen that nigga? Bruh. We, Glenn, you don't remember when he chased down that guy? What the yeah, oh, Buddha oh, Baker. Buddha? Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> that nigga scary. was scary. <laughs> bro, that bro, shit's scary as fuck. Bro, man. his teammate was like, he didn't have enough time to run him down. He said, man, bro, he's coming. He's coming. Like, that's some scary shit. I would just slide. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> like, that is fucking crazy. But. I think Russell Wilson, another thing, too, he wants a big payday, too, in the next coming years or so. Yeah. Like, like Aaron Rodgers just got that yeah. 200, four years, 153 mil guaranteed. They say that's an even better contract than Mahomes. I don't believe it, though. I don't know. But that's... the way Mahomes' contract that's is set up, he got 500 mil over, like, 12 to 13 years. Yeah, I think his was like 10, I think. Yeah, it was like 10 years, but I think he had two years still left on his deal, so it was a 12-year deal altogether, 10-year well, extension. But what's the guarantee? Yeah. No, and the only thing is, too, Mahomes' contract was like, if, if something was guaranteed in 2026, okay. he'll get it in 2024. Okay. So he got a $141 million in guarantees over That's 12 years, mm-hmm. and including a $63 million signing bonus. Mm-hmm. God damn. Wow, money is money in that film. Damn, science. mom, why did you push me to play sports? Like, oh, god, god damn, you could be sitting pretty in Tahiti right now. Like, what the fuck? I should have beat my ass every time I say I ain't feel like going to practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now I see what LeVar Ball was talking about. Oh, Nigga, god. shit. No, LeVar Ball, that is what He smart. really built up his family for real. Yeah, so smart everybody man. called that nigga crazy. Man, we talk about marketing. That nigga's a marketing genius too. Yeah, genius. Hell yeah. Big ball yes. LeBron. He be saying the he be saying the craziest shit, but he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I we're gonna like talk about it. Yeah. The Melo though, the Melo definitely gonna be the best one. That's no question. Yeah, he already sure. is the best one. Yeah. Of course. But I think that was just we said it though. I don't know it's what just, that that nigga Jello just bouncing back everywhere. Yeah, once he got arrested for stealing that shit, I was like, Jello a dumbass. He wasn't even the most like I I, I I ain't gonna lie I'm gonna check for you. Out. Nah. <laughs> that's what that Jello. Nah, that's what he, that's what he be going by sometimes. But like, yeah. Brad, for you not to be the best, you did just out call of another the, man Jello. Jello. Wait, what is it, Leangelo? Right? Leangelo. Leangelo. For you not to be the best out of the three, and you acting up, and you're rich. Fuck you, stealing shit. Nigga, y'all rich. Yo, that made no sense. Yo, that is like, a millionaire. Fuck? He was like, Yo, Yo brother's a millionaire. It? He was like, Why'd you take it? I, I saw him, and he looked nice. What the fuck, nigga? You're a dumbass, up, boy. That's right. why you barely. That's why you barely making a bond the G League. Yeah. Ooh. That shit, he making more than me. I can't say shit, nigga. I ain't say shit, nigga. I lot, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> one of you on me, nigga. <laughs> one of you on me, nigga. It's I just, fly bro. to Kelly right now, nigga. <laughs> it, it, you know. But shit, man. Marketing genius, man. Okay. Y'all let us know how to market our podcast I know. better. Who we need to reach out to. Any hoes they need to slide by. Well, that seemed like that was a good episode. Yes, sir, man. It was a great episode, man. I'm Cartier J, and no, I had you the last fuck you word. Let me do. Let me do. No, because I'm about to go off. You Larry Love with no love. Uh, I ain't going what? after you. You good. And you ain't say she nothing slick yet. So, you, you good. It's nigga, you I right do now. have love. I love yeah, Christ. Okay. I love Christ. Um, okay, when the last time you been in church? But anyway. The pandemic <laughs> shut my church down. You yeah, know, my, church, okay. my church, they put a new ATM that, in there. That's, that's, everybody, that's everybody's new. excuse. <laughs> when the last time you been in church? I actually was watching church on last time. Make it church! <laughs> so, we <laughs> talking about you watch church. <laughs> we, did, we did watch a service though. No, we did, we we did, did watch a service. Smoke, was y'all smoking while watching? <laughs> we weren't smoking. <laughs> we was praising the Lord. You crazy. Go to First Samuel. <laughs> no, bruh. But right. shit, our cameraman, Jay Next Door, you got anything to close us out? Hi. He said hi, guys. I know you can't hear him. <laughs> Over the train, hi. we're running on your bitch. So, um, uh, and I'm Chief Neef, and I had the last word.